You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, The AfterBuzz Studios in Los Angeles, California. Presented by Maria Menunos and Bing.com and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies. This is AfterBuzz TV's Pretty Little Liars After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. If you'd like to buzz in on tonight's show, you can buzz us at 424 256 1729. That's 424. 424- 256 1729. And now, another post game wrap up show for your favorite TV show. It's After Buzz TV's Pretty Little Liars After Show. A secret can you Hi, everybody. Bing is for doing, and we are here doing a special Pretty Little Liars after show for the web series Pretty Dirty Secrets. So, um, if you're following the web series, as I'm sure all of you are, because we got a lot of questions if we were going to cover this or not, we're um, there's seven there's seven little episodes, and so we're just going to go through them. I am your host Kelly, and I am joined by Whitney and Stephanie, and we are. We're super excited to be back. I feel like it's been forever well, since I've heard right? that little theme song. Good times, good times. <laughs> so the Amazing. Halloween episode is coming up. Super, super excited about that. Yes. And I'm sorry, I don't know about you guys, but this web series, I I really don't understand. So I'm hoping <laughs> it's little pieces that's going to be spread out either in the Halloween episode or maybe throughout the rest of the season. Definitely. Because, I, okay, so who is this Shauna person? Shauna, she's a Shana. new character. Who is Shauna? Is, is Shauna going to carry with us she, over? I think she is. is I she? think she's this new girl who's gonna who's now in town, and she's got some secrets, some dirty little secrets herself. Well, well, now she's getting to hear all of the dirty little secrets because most of the series happens in this Halloween store. Which is great. Great yes. for the preview for the Halloween episode. Yeah. see what costumes they all decided to be. There's some creepy be. costumes in there. A lot of creepy stuff. Those dolls, the masks <laughs> where it just starts out. You're like, what are we? That porcelain doll face? Ew. People are creepy. I mean, it's so pretty little liars, though. That dark, <laughs> creepy. You're just like, ooh, am I really seeing that? Oh, that's what that is. Okay. <laughs> and um, Yeah, there were a couple really creepy masked people in mm-hmm. the web series as well and I know we'll get into that in a second but I was a little creeped out. Yeah, so uh, you know we're getting creepy voicemails. So, um, you blocked know, blocked numbers. Blocked numbers. We've got, you know, and CC Season, you know, we always thought, you know, back, you know, at the, you know, end of the summer season, we were our predictions. We were talking about how we thought CC was a little sketchy, and we find out in um, the web series that, you know, she broke up with Jason like the day after Allie was found dead, or right. that they figured out Allie was dead. And he was like, "Did you want to explain that to me?" And she's like, "You probably don't want to know that." So she's got some more secrets mm-hmm. for us too, which we all assume we we're like, "That girl knows way too much," and obviously, someone knows she knows way too much because. They picked her out of those tapes, the security yeah. cameras. Right, and like that that kind of affectionate like finger down her arm. Oh, it's so what, weird. What is that? So which A was that? Was that Toby? Did, did he have like a thing going on with her? My like what's goodness. what's the whole like? I felt like that was a girl. I don't you know. Think? Maybe I was the only one. Who I don't. Was, I don't know. I, I was like Mona. It just felt like a girl. To well, me I just more thought than... it was a little taller to be Mona. But I think but there I don't are know. so many people that are yeah. Bay right now. I don't so. know. But yeah. the affectionate kind of. Up down the arm on the screen, that's a little creepy. So yeah. you can see Cece and Jason have a lot of history, too. Right. And, and it he, seems Jason has a drinking problem? Did we know that? Is that something I forgot? Out. It's all coming out. I don't well, know. He, he did. He got caught in the, in the G, or in this car. Remember, Spencer saved him from Right, the cops. right. But, you know, drunk driving, if you're stressed out about your sister's body being moved, doesn't necessarily mean you're an you're alcoholic. An so I'm wondering if he did have a drinking problem before, and maybe I I missed it from I, prior seasons. I don't, I don't know. think so. I feel like it's more of an issue of kind of we saw that and that he he's a hard partier and everybody knows right. that. And so he maybe is trying to to break away from that. Maybe, because she, Cece totally said it as a jab. Basically, it made me, it gave me the impression that maybe he's a recovering yeah. from, well, from, from that. Face. It was like, <gasps> yeah. she how hit dare a you? She hit a I nerve. can't believe you went there. <laughs> it was like, right. this, like awkward slow pause and he's just like, <gasps> And then he walks out. I know. 
Okay, Pretty Little Liars fans, let us know. Is this something that I just forgot? What Did Jason have a drinking problem? Is he a recovering alcoholic? Or is this a dirty little secret right. that we just found out? So please go to iTunes, download our podcast, catch up You know, for the rest of the season, get ready for the Halloween episode, and make sure to rate and comment and uh, give us your predictions for the Halloween episode and what's gonna, what do you think is going to happen in the, you know, the rest of the season. Oh and we're God. excited because they officially got picked up for season four. Yay! So yay. We'll be here forever. Yes, we're never going away. Awesome. Well, there were some little things that I found interesting with this. Well, at least Jason, it starts out, he's on the phone. He's like, get me this check cash. Like, if you don't do it, you little blah, blah, blah. And then Cece comes in. He's talking to someone. Remember? So was that the was check? Writing? Yeah. Is, was I that wonder. the check for finding the body? I like, wonder. finding where the body is? That's what I was thinking it was. So he could be in on this whole situation. Right. And then the whole little ticket thing that comes up with Lucas Lu- and Garrett both. Now, was that a ticket that that that, that the crazy doll face person gave her? I don't know. If or it was. gave Lucas? Or it look? It could have been a ticket, or it could have been a check, or it could have been a money. Piece of paper with a note on it. it could have been yeah, anything. It could but have been something. But he did something. say whoever he was on the phone with. So this dates back to you know one of the first two web web series here, and he's on the phone. He's like, yeah, I got my ticket. Well, then you go transfer to like the voicemails, the creepy voicemails we hear one through and through four, uh-huh. and here it's like, I got the tickets. You know, mom, be ready. I have the tickets. We're leaving in a week. Yeah. I don't know. So where's he going? What's his deal? What are these tickets? I don't know. They could mean many different things. Maybe they're for the Halloween party that's going to happen. So are they yeah. going on the... Because that Halloween party's happening like on a train or something, right? Yeah. Oh, maybe. Is it, wasn't that the thing that it's supposed to be mobile I, this time? I, I, I believe so. But the other thing that I kept thinking about was, do you remember the secret parties where they yes. had the mm-hmm. hand stamp? Did they transfer over to a ticket Well, maybe system? because no well, sense. Right. Like, I'm done for... Right now, I'm taking a year off from these parties. So maybe... Maybe now there's someone taking over, you know, the party scene, mm-hmm. and now there's a new way to get in. Now you maybe you need a ticket rather than a, an invite with the stamp. Well, this is what got me. Garrett is talking about his mom. You're getting voicemails from the dry cleaners. His mom was in the hospital, like on her deathbed, I thought. Well, now she's better and back because he said he, he's thinking Jenna is crank calling, you know, prank calling yeah. him because he says, you know, somebody is calling and hanging up when my mom answers. So now his mom's back home. But then is she because in the dry cleaners, like, Miss Reynolds, you've had your stuff here for three weeks. You, we can't hold it for, we only can hold it for 10 more days. Yeah. So is she, what's... well, and someone was there turning off the answer machine. And that looked like a female hand. Was it? Was it? Maybe it wasn't. I, I don't know. <laughs> we never know. We never know. I feel like this web series raised more questions than it did answer. <laughs> it just confused me <laughs> even more. Like, because uh, normally we're like, okay, here are the secrets. We're breaking it down. This was just like question after question. We're like, what is happening? Why is this going on? <laughs> maybe so, Shauna maybe is going to be the one that tells us everything. Maybe. Well, and what do you think about Shauna? She's talking on the phone with someone. She's from New York. But, but has grew a up southern in southern accent. Because she grew up in what? North South Carolina. Carolina. South Carolina, one of the Carolinas. Carolina. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and, <laughs> yeah, and she's here, and she knows somebody. She's like, okay, they'll be coming in the store. I'm going to get more. Like, give me time. And she says, I know she was my friend, too. So what do you think she was talking about Maya? Maya, Allie. Allie. Well, she says she's staying there with her aunt. So I was wondering if it was um, Maya's, maybe Maya's family, or did they take off? They were gone. They were gone, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It could hmm. be anybody's. Really, it could be anyone's. Yeah. I'm just trying to find Emily's parents. Trying to find the connection since she's so interested in these particular right. characters. Because she calls someone after the exchange with Nolan Garrett. She calls someone she and says, and you don't says know what yeah. just happened. You're going to die. I wonder... For some reason, right when she did that, I was like, is it Jenna? Is it Jenna that she's talking to here? Because Jenna seems to know everyone. Right. Could she kind of came up in conversation with Noel and Garrett, mm-hmm. arguing over that. And Garrett's just like, you don't know who she really is. She's a user. She You'll find out. She manipulates you. <laughs> Which, I mean, on those on the camera, the security cameras, it kind of looked like Jenna's hair. With the oh, mask. right, in the kind of yeah. uh, red Queen of mm-hmm. Hearts kind of crazy outfit. So, I don't know. Which, that could be someone else completely different, but... Right, and then when always at the root of it. Well, when A sneaks in and goes through the security cam- footage and stuff, who's the person in the back with the red... You know, we like know behind the Lucas, coat. behind yeah. Lucas, that red, that red coat. And the baby face. The which baby is face. Just Who's creepy. That? I thought yeah. that could have been Mona, maybe. See, I wasn't sure who it was, but I can just say that that mask really creeped me out, and then I was <laughs> kind of afraid for Halloween, in all honesty. <laughs> that would actually make sense, so think about it. Because her with the dolls. The dolls in the insane asylum. Also, mm-hmm. the dolls like that she had, that she had 
you know, right. pretending they were dying, and it was each one of the girls. That's why I fa- that's why that I thought yeah, that she was a doll person. You guys make good points. It's true. I don't well, know. Who knows, though? I don't know. But then when, you know, there's the one episode where it's just going through Shauna's phone, and it's all the different phone numbers. She has Paige's number. You know what I just thought about. What? Remember when they were going to transfer Mona to New York? Oh right, maybe she's that maybe she's is Mona's the blocked ID. Right, maybe she's Mona's and relative with, or friend yes. or something. <gasps> Good call. Oh. <laughs> We're getting you a pretty little <laughs> secret. We're figuring you out. That's true. Who knows? I don't know. That would make sense though, because that's the only way that I could think New York and how she yeah. could be connected. Yeah, that was kind of what I. Not necessarily the Mona connection, but how does New York play into mm-hmm. this show? And the only thing I thought of was, like, when Arya and Ezra talk about going into the city or, like, getting away. And, and I don't know how that plays right. in, but I, th- yeah. I think the Mona connection is probably a stronger yeah, one. That's a good call. That's good. a good one. It makes call. sense. It makes yeah. sense. So. I don't know. That's how Mona comes into play, maybe. Maybe, yeah, because they're going through her phone book. We see the blocked ID from New York. We see Paige's number. We see these different mom, dad, aunt Mm -hmm. text messages. And then these photos. The the Which green necklace, the jeweled necklace. That's going to come back to play. Has to. Well, maybe whoever's wearing it at the Halloween costume yeah. or Halloween party, we should watch for Well, that. I'm thinking that those are clues, things that we need to look out for that mm-hmm. are going to kind of be in the pop-up in, you know, in the series coming up sometime soon. I don't know. They're giving us a lot of clues. It'll be good. It's going to be, like, way too much. I'm going to have to go back and rewatch it. Even, I mean, they're so short, but yeah. it's it's kind of a lot of visual stuff, it even is. in that lot, couple think, minutes. It is a lot of hints to what's going to, what's to come, I yeah. think. Yeah. It's crazy. I don't know. But, don't you know, this is such a great show. And I also want to remind you guys that, you know, here we here at After Buzz, we cover a lot of the good, you know, a lot of great shows. And, you know, now that it's fall and all the new shows are coming out, make sure to go to AfterBuzzTV.com and, you know, check out our fall lineup because there's lots of great new shows like Revolution, you know, Revenge is Back. Yeah. Lots of good ones. You Nashville's know, coming up. Nashville's coming up, right. So this is a lot, a lot of good stuff. So, you know, while you're waiting for Pretty Little Liars to come back, you know, be sure to check out our other shows because there's a lot, a lot of good stuff we have. You know, Grey's Anatomy now has an after show. Love it. Which is great. And, yeah, you know, we're doing Glee this year. Yeah, Glee. Again, which is awesome. Gossip Girl, I think, is back, right? 90210. Yeah. Shoot, we can go on. <laughs> on and on and on and on. So go to the website, AfterBuzzTV.com, and make sure to, you know, to check out, you know, the list and see what's, see what's coming up. For sure. But, oh, my gosh. So... I think that's about it with the web series, right? I mean, did we cover pretty much everything? I really want to know the, who this Shauna person is. The one thing that was scary for a second, I was like, there's going to be another death in Rosewood. That security guard, luckily, someone called him. Right. That knife was out <laughs> because we know whenever A has a mission, they get it done. Well, yeah, I mean, there's no hesitation anymore. It's like ready with the weapons. So I wonder all that footage, how that's going to come back to play. That'll be like the main, Yeah. A has it, Yeah. now yeah. that the well, and then, the, yeah, they deleted, deleted it from, you know, we put it on a flash drive and then deleted it from, from the security camera that'll from the be a store. Big, I think that'll be a big part. Absolutely. Right. It has to be. So there's that something final on. scene of the Halloween mm-hmm. episode. I expect to see some of that footage rolling back Yeah, in. I'm sure it will be. Well, let's get into some news and gossip Ooh. and maybe some. After Buzz TV News. All right, so I have a couple of things. So um, the title for episode uh, 22 coming up when season three returns was leaked. Um, and, and so this is a spoiler alert. I don't know if anybody, you know, if you don't want to hear what it is, cover your ears, cover your ears now. <laughs> but the title is, is going to be, Will the Circle Be Broken? Or the, no, I'm sorry. Will the Circle Be Unbroken? So could that be, that could be like the four girls? It could be. That could be a circle. Oh, the finale. Yes, Will the Circle three. Be Unbroken? That's going to be season three, episode 22, Spoiler the title. Spoiler alert. Ooh, so I don't know. That's some good news. Yeah, yeah. there's also another shower scene that's going to be coming up this season. Because <laughs> I know people were excited about the whole, you know, Hannah, Caleb kind of shower yeah. scene that happened before. So this one's going to revolve around Ezra. So it could be, I don't know. I know. That's, <laughs> that's, that's the question right there. Well, the writers tweeted that there is going to be a shower scene and Ezra's coming up, but doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be one in the same. So it's kind of like okay. a little teaser. Good. So I don't know. So we'll see what's that. Uh-huh. And then, you know, Mona will definitely be in the Halloween episode because, you know, her character loves Halloween more than Christmas. So I'm excited to see kind of. We'll see if she sneaks away from New York, if that's where she is. Yeah. Or if she's like the doll face. Ooh, I don't know. Oh, Mona. 
I don't know. And as we said before, officially, there's going to be a season four. Yay. So, you know, we know the story is going to continue. So I'm sure they're going to leave us hanging. Oh, of course. <laughs> Even more so than usual this time. It wouldn't know. be Pretty Little Liars without doing that. No. no. And then I was reading on HollywoodLife.com that um, Lindsay Shaw, who uh, plays... Um, Paige on the show. Yeah. Paige and Spencer are going to have a little heart-to-heart moment. Well, that's good. You yeah. know, well, hopefully that's good. Because Maybe. I like, yeah. You know, Spencer was kind of mean if Paige is the genuine person she portrays to Emily. Yeah. I so, never believed it, but we'll see. There's been so much tension between the four girls and and her, and it would be nice to kind of see a resolution oh, come about. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so we'll see. So they should have a pretty sincere moment going on between the two of those characters. So, you know, we'll see how that plays out and what happens there. Do you, you I think you guys have something to add, right? Oh, Some we do. Gossip, yes. gossip. Yes. True, well, like, gossip. I guess it's a little old. A couple weeks ago, we know that Lucy Hale and her boyfriend, Chris <laughs> Zilka, he's on American Horror Story, they broke up, and everybody knew because it was all over Twitter. Chris <laughs> took to Twitter to say, someone said, your girlfriend's beautiful and he was like I don't have a girlfriend she's too good for me or something like that she was too good so everyone's like what in the world you're talking badly about Lucy Hale she's so sweet so eventually he comes back to say and he kind of comes back with the longest statement ever he does multiple tweets and basically saying how Lucy's the best and he'll always love her and that everyone should love her because she's such a good person and he leaves it with Aria rules (laughs) so pretty little liars fan Sorry, I'm telling rules. you, Twitter is such a publicist nightmare because <laughs> these people, I mean, let's, let's just air it all out. So I guarantee somebody had him. You better go tweet something better and fix this. Uh-huh. <laughs> Do you know, no need to air all your dirty laundry on Twitter, folks. No. Like, you really don't need to. Triple text, don't triple tweet. <laughs> <laughs> so lots of good gossip there for Pretty yeah, Liars. Nice. More to come, I'm sure. Yeah. Well, let's get into some predictions for the Halloween episode. <laughs> And now, your After Buzz TV predictions. So, what do you think's going to happen? Oh, you guys. <laughs> Halloween. I think it's going to get creepier because Halloween, Pretty Little Liars, <clears throat> you're... It, you should expect a super, super creepy episode. Absolutely. I mean, they were digging up bodies in this season, so I can only imagine what is going to happen at that Halloween I party. Know. I think something bad's going to happen to Cece. Just because someone looks like they're after her, or they really care about her. It's one or the other. But something's going to happen with her, just because she did pop back up in this web series, Mm -hmm. and her and Jason had a little tension. But then I think, on the other hand, I do, I predict that Mona, something, Mona might be the one that's connected to 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 Shauna. Yeah, no, that's definitely a good prediction, so we'll we'll see how that plays out. We'll keep hold of that one and see how it plays out. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, there's <laughs> no. so, so no I have no prediction. I just know it's going to be creepy. And well, and we know that um, from the spoilers that we've seen that Caleb is okay and he's coming back. So you know he'll be at the party. So oh, you know we'll see what happens with with all of them. But I don't know. Like I don't even know where to go. My mind is swimming with so many possibilities. And I mean, I'm just super excited. On a side <clears throat> note, to see Adam Lambert in this episode. Yes. I mean. He's always crazy. I'm sure he'll add a lot to Rosewood. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, fun, and, fun and to Toby. And we'll see about A. Oh, right. Toby is A in the mix oh. with Mona there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, actually, a few weeks ago with um, Toby, uh, the actor who plays Toby, um, was talking to, I believe, Clever TV and mentioned that he's known since season one. That, that, this he was, was, that he was A. And so he's, really? he's been keeping this massive secret. Oh my gosh. Because see, I had heard from a couple, I think it, they said that they shot three different people and they decided on Toby at the last minute that they, they shot Paige that way, Caleb that way, and Toby all in the A outfit. And it could have all worked. And it could have been, yeah, it could have been either any of them and then they went with Toby. So I don't know. Yeah, he was talking about that he had, had been doing interviews with Clever for a long time and uh-huh. that he like okay. had always known Uh and I was like that's so interesting that's such a like crazy secret to have to keep all this time it'd be hard I know good job Toby (laughs) (laughs) you fooled us all that's for sure yes dude I'm still upset about that whole thing I don't know Uh, well thanks so much guys for hanging out with us here and um, checking out Pretty Dirty Secrets I mean I hope that you know a lot a lot more secrets come out you know here to come I hope we get a little bit of resolution in the Halloween episode something to hold us over it will they'll definitely hold us over 
hold us over till the season comes back. But make sure to go to iTunes, download the podcast, rate and comment. And you can uh, follow us on Twitter at AfterBuzzTV. And you can follow me at Kelly with an IE 079. And you can follow me on Twitter at Stephanie Winger. And I'm Whitney Lane 1118. And we will see you guys for the Halloween episode. Yay! From Bing.com, executive producers Maria Menunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz, see you later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.